A discussion and a celebration tonight of Philadelphia's vibrant ballroom culture and its impact on black and LGBTQ plus history in our city. The goal now is to share it with the next generation and inspire a new love of dancing. Seanette Wilson has more from Spring Garden. It's a culture some say wasn't acknowledged for a long time, specifically in the black community. Tonight, students learn to embrace it and call it their own. Come on, y'all, clap for it. Tonight, the Queer Student Union of the Community College of Philadelphia hit a makeshift runway for their best interpretation of what is known as ballroom in the LGBTQ plus community. It is part of an event to close out Black History Month, led by Jason Bowman, known all over as the reigning face diva and the icon Hall of Famer, a legend on the ballroom scene. Ballroom is American history. Ballroom is black history. The night began with a showing of Bowman's documentary called Legendary. I went to my first ball at the Doubletree Hotel, and when I walked in, it was the first time that I felt that I was finally in a space where I felt celebrated and not tolerated. The documentary took students through the process of ballroom room, its elaborate costumes and competitions for prizes and cash in categories like face, runway, voguing and real. A lot of times in the city of Philadelphia is very scary growing up being a queer person and this space was created for you to have safety and love. Students also got a front row seat to ballroom by a panel of professionals. You got people that want, they're like, they're like, I guess, you know, hip hop dance and ballerina, all that, you know, this is another form of dance of voguing. And students learned the family in the ballroom community. We have chosen parents, mothers, fathers, sisters, and brothers that embrace us through our many ob obstacles that we overcome in our life. CCP students Zach Jackson and Grace Schwab participated in the mock ball. We watched a documentary called Paris is Burning about the ballroom scene in New York City. Um, so yeah, that was really cool to see all of, learn about all the houses in all the people that were a part of it. And then today, a week after, we'll learn about Philly's ballroom scene. I hope they take away from this experience that there is a community out here for you that you don't have to feel alone, you don't have to feel isolated. You can be celebrated for your uniqueness. Seanette Wilson, Fox 29 News.